Hello, this is Vertical Measures, and today we'll be discussing on-site SEO tips. These are critical factors for achieving higher search engine results. Today we'll be talking about keyword selection and essentially how to choose the best keywords. We'll be looking at tools that you can use to do keyword research. These will include the Google Keyword Selection Tool as well as Word Tracker. We'll be discussing how to use these tools to do keyword research and we'll discuss common mistakes that people make when choosing their keywords. This is the Google Keyword Selection Tool. This is the URL. And you can see below that there's essentially two ways to search. We can search by words and phrases or we can select this option and actually type in a URL here and get keywords based on a particular URL. This is good for competitive analysis. Today we're going to look at utilizing the descriptive words and phrases. For this particular video that we're creating today, I was looking at keywords and so we might look at uh, keyword selection to start with. That might be something that people might look for. If I keep this use synonyms marked, it'll also do additional words. So we can see keyword selection is here. There's the advertiser competition. We're looking at these numbers over here. There's 3,600 uh, local search volume for May. Local is Google search volume. And then global is 4,400. And global is, uh, if you hold over the arrow, or kind of tell you uh, it's Google and its extended search uh, network. If you scroll down, you'll see a whole list of keywords that pertain to this particular search. Keyword selection is the largest. Some of them don't have enough data. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you see additional keywords to consider, and it gives us a lot of different words. You can see how these, like advertising, would not be a very good keyword because it's so general. It's, uh, and it's got a lot of searches that we just wouldn't probably be very competitive for it. But if we scroll down, we can look and see uh, what other words might be good. We can see keyword tools. That's not a bad one. 27,000, that's kind of uh, a lot. So maybe we get even more specific. Keyword search tool is 14,000. These are all long, what they consider long tail which means that they're keywords or phrases. And here's keyword selector tool, and that's 6,600. I might select this keyword because its search volume is low enough that the competition won't be as fierce as for keywords that have larger search volumes. But it's also a great enough search volume that it's worth going after. And that's really what we want to find is that balance. Next, let's take a look at Word Tracker. We can see here's the URL for the, for the free keywords at Word Tracker. Uh, you can also sign up for a seven day free trial. You can see the first thing about uh, Word Tracker is when we do the keyword we used at Google and we click hit me, it's going to say no results found for keyword selection. And it's going to ask us to try an alternative. So basically, Keyword Tracker is giving you a a different perspective on how people are searching the web. So let's type in something very odd like keywords and then click hit me. And as we go down the page we can see 112 searches. These are daily searches as opposed to the month so they're smaller numbers. Makes it a little more difficult to compare to our Google searches. But as we scroll down and look at each of the, the keywords we can kinda pick out ones that might work well for us and then we can cross-reference that with our Google search results. So most used keywords might be something that we want to look at although it doesn't really fit the topic for what I'm particularly doing here. As we scroll down we can see you know top 100 keywords. These could give you ideas for articles that you might want to write or things that you might want to include in different articles. Um, for the one that we're doing today maybe choosing keywords might be a good one. Uh, shows 10 searches per day. Best keywords at 7. And good keywords at 5. The nice thing about Word Tracker is it's 
pulling results from all the major search engines, not just Google. Its search is related to Dogpile, which is uh, compiling results from Google, Yahoo, uh, Bing, and other search engines. And again, it's just giving you a different perspective so that you're not relying so heavily on Google. Let's review how to select the best keywords for your website. First, we're going to check to see if people are searching using the keywords that you're using. And to do that, we're going to use the Google Keyword Tool as well as possibly Word Tracker. We're going to look at how many searches are performed for each of the keywords, and we've, we want to find a balance. So we don't want to select a keyword that's got a ton of searches. Those are generally going to be very competitive, and it's going to be very hard to rank for them. We also don't want to choose a keyword that's very low in search volume because then if it's you know only a couple hundred searches, it's maybe not worth our time to try to go after it. So we want to find this balance between keyword searches and also the, the competition for those keywords, as well as kind of making a judgment call as to whether or not you feel that you could rank competitively for that particular keyword. Second, we're going to look at if you're using long tail keywords. And the reason we want to use long tail keywords is because they're usually phrases that are very easy to rank for because they're very specific. They usually have fewer searches, um, but consequently less competition. When people land on these pages using long tail keywords, uh, if you match up the content of your page to the, key, to the long tail keyword, uh, generally people will stick on the page because you are offering the, informa the specific information that they were looking for. Third, we look at if your keywords are relevant to your content, because we don't want people to land on your page thinking it's about one thing and it turns out to be another. When that happens, they're going to back out of the web page, and when that Google does see it, if it happens you know, many, many times over and over, Google begins to understand that the content that you're presenting is not a fit for that keyword and you will be removed from the search engine rankings. That ends this session of essential on-site SEO tips. These are critical factors to achieve higher search engine ranking. If you have more questions, you can visit us at www.verticalmeasures.com. Thanks again, and welcome to Intelligent Internet Marketing.